This is the fourth and final film of my two and a half week trip to Vancouver. The trip was notable for its lack of sunshine. The blue sky you can see here was very unusual. The other unusual thing was for me to spend two and a half weeks in an urban environment. But that was the whole idea of the trip, to spend the time in the Vancouver regional area visiting all the city parks where the wildlife is both numerous and approachable. This has turned out to be quite good. This is Burnaby Park and at first I was very disappointed. I walked around the lake in a lot of places you're nowhere near the water and you just don't see that many birds either. And the, the small birds you do see well they're much easier to photograph elsewhere. But then I came to this spot. It's just a, a short boardwalk going out into the water and you're allowed to feed the birds here again. There's actually signs up saying it's okay and it's been fabulous. I didn't actually see any new species here, but some of the birds I'd seen elsewhere were much easier to photograph here, such as the green-winged teal. At first sight, this is very similar to the common European teal. The difference is that vertical stripe just off the side of the bird. If you look at the European teal, this one, it's got that stripe, but it's not vertical, it's horizontal and it's further back on the body. They behave in a very similar way to our common teal also. At this time of year our teal will be displaying and it's a very similar display with that lovely little whistling sound they make. The lighting conditions are not great, especially when you're working on water. You've got this silvery grey colour because it's reflecting the grey sky. I like colour in my pictures so I'm happier when I'm working on water to have a blue sky and a blue reflection. Also with this sort of lighting conditions you've got to start to overexpose. So for this shot for instance I would be two thirds of a stop over because of all that silver water behind the bird. For this picture there's no need to compensate because the overall tone of the picture is the same, the background is much the same tone as the bird. So this was taken at 1600 ISO, 500th of a second at f5.6. It wasn't very bright so I wasn't getting a fast shutter speed but the bird's not moving, it's not doing anything. I'm on a tripod and it's a solid tripod so there should be no problem at almost any shutter speed. Lots of mallards, exactly the same species as in the UK. And amongst those you can see some pintails, the northern pintail. The same species as we get back in Europe. And one of my favourite ducks. I think I prefer the very similar long-tailed duck, which is more of a sea duck and one I don't get as much opportunity to photograph as Northern Pintail. And this is Lesser Scorp, the male. And this is also overexposed by two thirds of a stop and a very slow shutter speed of 6 40th of a second and the female.
and this bird you could easily mistake for a tufted duck back in the UK. But no, this is the ring-necked duck. The wood duck, we do get a few of these in the UK because it's an introduced species. Here, no need to worry about compensation because again the background and the bird is much the same tone, but when it's on silver water, I've got to overexpose slightly. I would say there I'm overexposed about two thirds of a stop again. And the golden eye, again on more colourful water because I've deliberately lined up against some vegetation in the background, some trees and bushes. This is the female, so the exposure is very straightforward and the water's nice and smooth as well. I usually prefer smooth water. And the male golden eye, they also get Barrow's golden eye out there, but I didn't get to photograph those. Noticed I carried my camping mat out to Canada with me, it's very useful for lying on the floor or just kneeling on. And these are long-billed dowichers. There's also a short-billed dowicher, and I would find it impossible to tell them apart, so I was relying upon the local bird watchers to tell me the species. I knew it was a dowicher, I just didn't know which dowicher. Very tame birds, very approachable. It's not like photographing birds in the UK at all, where you'd probably need a hide to get close to a species like this. But in the North American continent in general, you can get much closer to the wildlife than you can back home in the UK. Now there's a very large range of gall species in Canada and largely I ignored them because I knew I'd have problems identifying them, especially in their winter plumage. But this one was easy, this is a ringed billed gall. This one on the other hand I have absolutely no idea. Juvenile galls are difficult at the best of times, but when you're in a foreign country I just don't know. But I filmed it because it was bathing so well. All this footage is taken with the Lumix GH6 which I use mostly for video work and the slow motion is 120 frames per second and I just love looking at birds in slow motion. Thanks for watching.